think obsessively about how others are thinking about them. Yes. And so then they become self-conscious, often about bodily issues, but not only that, they might become self-conscious about their lack of conversational ability and the fact that they're not very interesting and the fact that they're being evaluated by other people. It's a litany of obsessive thoughts. And you can, you might say, well, you could train people to stop thinking about themselves, but you can't stop people from thinking about something by telling them to stop thinking about something. But what you can train people to do is to think more about other people. And so one of the techniques that I used in my practice was, okay, like we'd go through the niceties of introducing yourself and making sure they knew your name and get that ritualized so that it was uh, practiced and expert and therefore not a source of anxiety. But the next thing is, your job is to make the other person that you're talking to as comfortable as possible, to pay as much attention to them